Hi there, it's Dennis from BC Tesla Guy. Um, so I'll give you some information about the Chatamo adapter that you can use with your Tesla. So this is sold on the Tesla website. Um, it's always sold out. Uh, if you're looking at purchasing one, there's a sign up to be notified when they're for sale. And when they do, you need to get online and purchase it right away. There are quite a few benefits to having this over the just the Tesla network. So. Um, I, I'm going to go through how to use it, but I just want to cover a couple other items. So one of the items that uh, is different from Tesla is the BC Hydro chargers have two cables on them. There's the, the Chatamo cable and then the CCS cable. It is one charger, so you can only charge from one of those cables and it will show on the app that it's in use uh, if you're using it. So that's one thing just to be aware of. I did have a situation in Manning where I was using the Chatamo and someone came up and they wanted to charge their uh, Mustang Mach-E and they plugged it in and, and they couldn't figure out why it wasn't charging but they could have just pressed on the Chatamo and cancelled my charge and then started charging with theirs. So just be aware that that could happen to you. So uh, it is quite a benefit to have this because outside of the lower mainland and some of the main routes up to the Okanagan, you can't get around BC without it, at least for now. There are new superchargers going in at Castlegar, Grand Forks, a uh, multitude of other locations. So um, for now, this is the only way that you, you can get around uh, with a somewhat fast charge. So you're gonna take the Chatamo cable, plug it into the adapter securely, check that it doesn't come apart so you know that it's locked. You're going to take the Tesla cable and plug it in. Once it's plugged in, you can use the app on your phone, BC Hydro or the Flow. I've got a Flow card. So what you do is you tap it here press the start button it's going to go through some voltage checks to make sure that it's ready to go I'm not sure if you'll be able to read that but it's saying Chatamo vehicle detected pre-charge tests in progress still testing I hear it making some noise here and now we're looking at it. It's my battery's at 80% right now. So it's rated for 50 kilowatts at 125 amps. And I'm getting 31 kilowatts at 80 amps. So not too bad at 80%. I would assume that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look inside just to make sure. So right now I'm getting 29 kilowatts. Again, I'm at 80%. I'm not really uh, here to charge it. I'm just here to show you how it works. So there, there it is. Uh, it could go up to 47. So right now I'm charging at 31 kilowatts. It's showing here. I have seen higher numbers um, at a little bit lower state of charge. But it's pretty good. Most people would consider this fast charging, um, but it's more the convenience. There's a limited amount of superchargers across British Columbia, and BC Hydro is putting out new chargers. So, yeah, it's pretty good so far. Um, so let's go ahead and, and end the session because you need to follow those steps as well. So the steps for that are one, stop the charging session. So you can do that in the car, on your Tesla app, but you need to stop it so it's not having any current. And at that point, you're just gonna take it apart and replace the cable, so let's go through that. So you're gonna pull out the Tesla cable, and then here on the top, there's a button. Press that, pull it apart, and then just go ahead and replace that there. And uh, I found a really good storage spot was up in the trunk. Uh, just place it in there. There's also underneath in the uh, trunk. But if you're traveling, 
might have some luggage there so it's a little bit more difficult to get to so for me I just kept it in the front of my car and it worked out really well so here's that cable again it's the Chatamo adapter that can be purchased directly from Tesla for, um, does give you a peace of mind if you do a lot of traveling outside of the lower mainland if you're driving around the lower man you probably don't need it but traveling outside it's it's it may be essential at least for the next year or two the other advantage is the locations that they have for the BC Hydro chargers are convenient. So at Manning Park, there's one right there, there's bathrooms, and they have a restaurant with, uh, that you can sit out on the patio, so it's pretty good there. So it is a benefit to have it. There is a cost involved. Uh, if you have any questions about the Chatamo adapter, uh, feel free to let me uh, put it in the comments below and I will uh, address them. Uh, I did not purchase this cable. I rented it from Jeff Model 3 Group in Vancouver. I believe it was $30 a week, which is, you know, you might go on a vacation once or twice a year and probably cheaper to just rent it. Anyway, again, leave your comments below and I will address them. Thanks for watching.